So, uh, got a little double feature going on today. Uh, I found this drink at World Market. I'm gonna focus in there. Come here. Come on. There it is. Lucky Dog Saki. I'll, I'll, I'll try that in a second. Okay, but first I want to talk, uh, talk about something. I'll tell you a little story. Alright? I used to go to this place called Billiard Palin. Back before COVID, it was the spot. Alright? We always... Well, I was there, like, multiple times a week. Um, it used to be a strip club that they turned into a pool hall. And they have a room in the back where they do karaoke, which is where I chilled at. Uh, and... Uh, they they kept the chairs and the same furniture from the strip club, so you got these nice velvety like love seats with like cum on them. It was a great spot. We met this guy there. He was hanging out with a with a friend that we knew from there, and uh, they were like dancing and being all flirty and stuff. She introduced us, and he ends up and I forgot his name. It was like Mike or Mark or something. I don't really know. It was a long time ago, not really like three years ago. Anyways. He invites us out to the casino. And here in New Mexico, there's fucking casinos everywhere. Dude, like, we went to one called Sandia Casino, and there's, like, three others in, in viewing distance, okay? And we go to this big one. It's, like, a resort. It was, it was weird because we just met this guy, and he's taking us to a casino. I was like, I guess so. What the fuck ever? And uh, once we get in, he gives us each a $100 bill. Um, it was me, uh, Amber, Lizzie. And him, it was just the four of us. Might have been one other, one other person. I don't really remember. But yeah, he gave us each a hundred dollars, and I was like, "All right, go play some shit." And I was like, "Damn, this dude's, this dude's got money." All right, he's just handing out hundred dollar bills, and we play for a bit. I make like, I make like four or five hundred dollars. Uh, Amber doesn't really make much that night, and uh, we go home. And that was it. It was chill. It was cool. Whatever. I was like, damn, we got ourselves like a like a sugar dad friend, you know? And we don't gotta fuck him, but he's cool, he's gonna give us stuff. Oh, the funny thing about going to the casino is that it was technically still, uh, it was at the beginning of COVID, and there were still like restrictions and lockdowns and shit, but the casinos, they don't give a fuck, all right? They were just like, all right, well, uh, the buffet's closed, that fucking sucked. But you you can't sit next to each other. You just gotta put a put a seat between you and someone else. That was that was all the rules they had. A week later, he invites us out to the casino again, and we go. This time it's a little different. And now we're gonna take a little pause in the video and take a sip from this again. Let me try to focus her. Lucky Dog Sake. Um, I got this from World Market. Look, it even comes with. A little straw <laughs> to poke into it it's a it's literally just a juice box and it's 13.5 percent alcohol I don't really know 13.4 percent there's a there's a weird straw look it's like a oh oh you can't put it back in it's like it's stuck that's wow look at that straw you can you can take off the sharp part when you're done and just use this part for drugs get the straw down in there all right, there it is, juice box. And sake is rice wine alcohol, I believe. So it tastes kind of different than the alcohols that we normally drink here in the States. We don't really have rice wine alcohol, but the rice gives it kind of like a, kind of like this weird tapioca flavor almost, you know? Um, it tastes like um, like plums. That's that's where it's getting its sweetness from. It kind of tastes plummy. I forgot how much it was. It was like f five bucks for this juice box. And I'll slam it by the end of the video just so you can understand how, how good the drunkness is maybe. You know, if it gets me drunk or not. So it's week two. We're hanging out. Wait, his name was David maybe. I don't know. We go back to the casino and it's the same thing except this time he gives us $200 each. $200 bills each. And I was like, damn, all right, we're getting serious now. I made probably around the same five, $600. Amber also made $600. And she was smart. She cashed out her $600 and pocketed the cash. And then uh, she had that little, I don't know if you've ever been to a, um, you've ever been to like a casino, but when you go and you use the slots, they, they don't get like cash or anything. You get this like ticket voucher that has, the money price on it and then you go to 
you go to like a desk and they they cash you out. <coughs> it's like Chuck E. Cheese. What was that? Amber cashed out her money. I still had my little five hundred dollar voucher, and uh, dude comes up to us and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm working on this machine. Um, I'm just about to win big. I just need." A little bit more money and he asked me for my ticket thing back um with the 500 on it and i didn't really mind you know because it's i mean he gave me the money to play with you know so i just like yeah sure whatever i'm sure he'll make a bunch of money back and probably give me in more money back whatever um he didn't he he lost all of that 500 in like 30 seconds and this expired in june of 2022 this expire is that let's see if we can show the expiration date here come on focus there we go so it says like a 22 over here see 22 6 6 22 is this thing yeah and he's just fucking uh he just leaves He's like, yeah, he owed his, like, he was stealing money from his mom, and he owed his mom, and, like, other people, he owed people fucking money, because he had this gambling addiction, and it, we live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is not the place you want to be to owe people money, right, because, you know, okay, you've seen Breaking Bad, so he's gone, um, she ends up moving to, like, North Dakota, she was this native girl, so she moved out to the res with her dad or something, and... Yeah, I just, I felt really bad after that because, like, now knowing that I was, I was playing these slots with, like, this, some, this poor guy's, like, mom's and wife's stolen money because he had a problem. And the only reason he had us there and gave us money to play with was just for that situation where he lost a bunch of money and needed, like, you know, he thought he, if he, if he had us out on different machines, he could have a higher chance of getting more money. I was so upset too, man. I really wish I had a rich friend. I've never had a rich friend before, you know? I thought maybe he would take me on a boat or something. No, don't you fucking lick my mouth. I saw you lick your asshole earlier. So that's that story. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm not even halfway through the juice box and I said I would, I would let you know what the drunkenness level was. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slam, can you see in the light? How much is left? No, this box is too dark. I'm gonna slam the juice box. And then I'll just like sit a couple minutes and then I'll let you know how drunk I get. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Oh, that made my nose runny. Oh my God. The drink is slammed, 13.2%. Jeez, it keeps going down every time I look at it. I swear it was 13.5, then it was 13.4, and now it's 13.2. I'm going fucking, I'm going insane. I'm going insane. Look at this fucking cat here. He's been sitting on my lap this whole time. Uh, I'll, I'll just, you know what? I'm just going to leave in the comments the level. I'll put like 1 to 10 of how drunk it got me. Because I'm going to edit the video probably now. It'll take me 20, 30 minutes, right? And then upload will take a little while. Am I going out of focus? What is this? I have it on like autofocus to like follow my face. I'm using a Canon 80D. Uh, it's a really good camera. And I got it. I got a good deal on it. I bought it from a friend. Apathy Fire. Shout out. Um, all right. Yeah, I'll just leave in the comments how drunk I get. Um, thanks for watching.